Let's talk about works versus dead works. Is there a difference? Does scripture tell us? I tell people to obey the Torah just like Christ did. He is our example. And a lot of people come to my page and make comments like we're not saved by our works. And you know what? I agree because I guarantee you between our mind and our actions, not a single one of us would be saved if it was because of our works. But that doesn't mean your works can't condemn you. Hebrews 5 and 6, about this we have much to say, and it is hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have the powers of discernment, trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. In these verses, they are telling you to grow up, to become mature. Stop being a hearer and be a doer of the word, not laying behind you a foundation of dead works that you need to repent for. And do you notice how it says faith here as well? It's adding faith into dead works. And it's saying not to leave a foundation of faith and dead works that you need to repent for. And this is confirmed by James chapter 2 where it says that faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. And James also says that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. So there's obviously a difference between dead works and regular works, since you do need works, just not the dead ones. Paul even says in Ephesians 2 that we are created for good works. So let's find out what the difference between good works and bad works is. Romans 6, for the wages of sin is death. So what is sin? 1 John 3, 4, sin is the transgression of the law. So what do you have to do for a wage since the wages of sin is death? You have to work for something to earn a wage. Your wages are your dues paid for hire, for what you do, your works. In Matthew 16, Jesus said he is coming back to reward each person according to his works. So your works matter, but the dead ones lead to death. Proverbs 10, the wages of the righteous leads to life and the gain of the wicked to sin. If you are sinning, i.e. breaking the commandments of God and the Torah, it is wickedness. It is not righteousness. Deuteronomy 6.25 tells us righteousness is being careful to do all that God has commanded us. Hebrews 10, if we sin deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Grace doesn't cover you if you're not trying.